Hey guys, Wolfichon is back from their coma, and today we're going to be talking about how you can render a video in MMD. Now, the first thing you're going to do is naturally open MMD and load up whatever model and stage you want. Over here, for example, I'm trying my best to load in um, the motion, uh, the Goddard effect, but it's not going well. So what we're going to do next is select your model, add a little motion for them to move, right? Then make sure you're loading all of this at frame zero. Next, you're going to go in and all right, camera, and you're going to load in some motion data for the camera as well. Finally, what you're going to do is you're going to go through, find wherever it is you keep your music for your motions, your WAV files. Make sure they're WAV because the only files that MMD works with are WAV, they don't like MP3. Load it in. You can check that it's working by looking here. If a sound spectrum has appeared, that means there is music. Right, next what you could do is you can run the animation to see that everything is working the way you want it. In my case, I probably need to have a floor, but for the purposes of this exercise, that's not necessary. Uh, after you're satisfied with what you have, I recommend you save your work in case something goes wrong you need to go back. Then you need to go back right here and say, if you want to render it to a picture, say picture file, then pick whichever format you want. You should probably pick a format, you don't want to see all picture format because then your computer is going to be confused what kind of program to use to open it. And then you would call it something, and you would save it to whichever location you want. For example, as a BMP. That's how you would save this single frame as a picture. However, it's likely that you want a video, not just a picture. So what you're going to do is go to Render to AVI File and click it. Next, uh, you're going to name it something like MND02. I recommend you name it um, what motion you're using and what model. This is Mika from Seraph Event. The only option it's going to give you is an AVI file, so if you don't like AVI, you can just reconvert it later. Uh, but before we do this, let's just go and see what your settings are for your screen size. Uh, the screen size here, it does not move on its own. So if you, you can have, for example, 1,360, so you'd have a very long screen. Uh, that, you'd have a long screen that's very short. If you want to correlate it, you have to know, for example, the natural relationship between these two factors. For example, like my screen it used to be 1280 by 720, because that would keep it in this nice, you don't, it would keep your relationship of height and length fairly good and even, like 4-3. Um, the higher you set these amounts, the more intense it is for the computer to render this because it renders every picture separately and the bigger the picture, the longer it renders. So for example, on my old computer, which was manufactured in 2016, I could not go beyond maybe 1600 without everything glitching out. Uh, I would recommend for most people to stick around 720 as their width or 1280 as their width, unless you have a gamer PC or an animation PC, which is when you can have crazy high amounts. Uh, also, if you want to see how tasky it is from MD to your computer, you can always go here and find your task manager and to see uh, how much MMD is using of your resource. Because if your computer is already at 99 memory and you're not running anything with MMD, then you probably need to have a lower size. If your computer is at like 50 and you have MMD open, then you can have a higher screen size. So anyway, you pick your screen size, say OK, then go File, as we already went, Render to AVI, type your name in, pick a folder, I'm going to say Desktop, and then you say Save. Now it's going to ask from when to when you want to record it. I'm not really sure if it will work fine if you go from 0 to 0. I would recommend you just figure out what the last point of your animation is, like 1600 for me over here. Oh, how you can do that? Easy, simple. You just click this next button, and it will show you the last frame anything is rendered. Alternatively, you can just watch the motion and see when it ends. Alright, so back to this. We now know when it ends. We go to, type this, and from in here. Oopsie. Right, you probably want to output the 
WAV file. Now, look, there's a lot of compressors on here. I'm not sure what the difference is. I just keep the generic one. Screen size you can change up here. Frame rate, well, I just say 30 because it's easier for my computer to do that. You say, okay. And now what your computer is going to be doing, if your computer is a little slower, it'll take longer. But over here, it's recording the frames. It will keep doing this until you get to this frame. Uh, while this is happening, your computer is using probably a lot of memory. See, my everything's at 100 right now, especially because I'm currently running the recorder as well. And you can't touch this. Uh, you can't close it, and if you try to move it somewhere, then see what happens is it freezes. And what happens when it freezes is if you have some kind of effects on here, for example, you have uh, the clothing motion moved on, it's going to reset itself. So it would look like a little glitch. Also, the way I rendered it here, you can tell that I didn't raise the camera enough because all my angles are make his gorgeous collarbones and you probably want his face. So that would mean all adjustments. Typically, you would want to catch this before you render, but in my case, I didn't have the time. I just kind of rushed, right? It's fine that you don't hear sound while it's rendering. It doesn't render with sound. You won't be able to hear the sound while it renders. Now, once it's done rendering, it'll just bring you back to here. It's wonderful. And you can go ahead and look for the file you saved. It's going to be right here for me. So next, the file is going to be huge. 6 gigabytes, for example, for 55 seconds. If you would like to load this to YouTube, let me warn you. It took me an hour to upload 10 gigabytes, I think. So if I were you, I would open up some kind of converter. I wouldn't recommend an online one because you're going to have one heck of a time uploading 5 gigabytes online. And let's say convert the video to a format you like and a resolution you like. Maybe you want to keep the 6 gigabyte version on your computer for your own reference. But if you would like to upload it somewhere, I would make it a little smaller. Before we do this, let's just see if the motion is right and if it runs. Now we're going to open it. And let's see. I can hear sound and the motion is going. It's very clear, very clean. So everything's good. Now all you would want to do is convert it and upload it if you want to share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.